Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Lakeville map, and we've got Hyphen from 1AR in the FB4005 Stage 2. Probably doesn't need much of an introduction as a tank, because we've seen a few videos of this. He's got that lovely um, 3D skin with the um, steam engine effect on it. Got that on mine too, but yeah, just love hearing it as it's chopping along. Get closer to it. It's zoomed out at the moment, but uh, yeah, as you zoom in, you hear it better. Okay. All right. Just stopping to see whether it can get a target on that bat chat. But uh, he's getting whacked by his team. All right. No luck there. Not worth sending a blind shot in. These shells cost. 8,000 odd credits per shell. So you can't blind shot obviously, if, you know, but uh, you've got to be fairly certain that you've got a target there. Alright, chuffing into town to back up the tanks that have gone in, and you can see you're already on the minimap a fair bit of action going on in the 1 2 line, which um, become a bit of a trend these days, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, in the old days it was if you go to the valley you're going to die. Anyway, let's see how this pans out. Just uh, stopping here again just to see if anything gets spotted. They've lost their light tank, the Charmel 75. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, obviously the medium tanks in town can do a bit of spotting if there's anything there. But now there's actually right, some action going on in the town itself, so Hyf decides to disengage at this point. Well, not that he was really engaged, but let's see whether he can get some tanks that are not expecting to be shot by a 183mm gun. So just approaching carefully here, so the view ranges are a bit short. He doesn't really want to sit here in the open, but... Uh, that's what he has now. He's basically pre-aiming at this spot. Is that E4 going to come through? He might. But first of all comes TVP. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't know why I laugh. It's just a natural reaction, I think. Sends the TVP back to the garage. Gets lit as a result, of course. But um, again, that's the short view ranges there. But uh, no one's shooting back at him at the moment. That doesn't mean that it will stay that way. But uh, that was just a nice shot. Now just looking for that E4. Can he back up a little bit? We'll have to see. Alright, here comes the I7. Also backing up, is he going to get a shot into him? Yes, he's coming further back, he's coming further back. Okay, he shot at the I7 and he killed an E4. <laughs> okay, the E4 must have been unspotted and between him and the I7 I would say. Um, okay, he does get shot there by the Progetto, and in fact there's another blind shot come in, so again, he can line up here and put a shot into that bush. It's probably a reasonable choice, but uh, the Progetto may have realised that he would get shot back at, so he backs off. And can he get rid of this I-7? It's the next target. So backing up further again to just try and extend the view range possibility so that he um, doesn't get it immediately spotted when he gets the line on. But uh, so far he's got the full health of that uh, TVP 1800 and none of the health of the E4 showing so you know his target's going to be a little bit bigger than that. Don't know exactly how much that health that uh, E4 had but you can imagine at this stage of the game it's probably over a thousand hit points so we'll see at the end. Right, chuffing in. It's very hard to stop saying chuff chuff as he's going along, but uh, I'm sure if you're playing at home, you might just pick that up. All right, he's sorry to interrupt the service there. All right, Pajetto 65, can he get? There's just a line of him there, just not quite enough. Just back up a little bit further, but I think that Pajetto 65 knows what risks he's in, so he stays right there. And 
lo and behold, he kills another E4. Now, I know an E4 was there, but... Okay, that's unexpected. So, again, that was a blind shot, effectively, because he wasn't visible when he pulled the trigger. And whatever health he had at the time, which he doesn't have anymore, is not showing on Hyphen's target, so we just don't know. 1800 damage so far, 445 of assisted, so 22, 20, 2245 of combined damage, but I'm sure his contribution is a bit more than that. Anyway, three kills there to Hyphen. So he's got the TVP and two completely unspotted E4s. Alright, now, okay, this is going to be perhaps a bit more challenging. It's that I7. So I'm very low health. Oh, and the Gorilla 15 taking a big chunk out of the Object 140. Critical and critically on the 140. Yes, probably just bounced off the turret, so he backs up. And just wants to get out of the way. I'm not sure that 140 will last too long. No, he gets taken out by the Grillo. So, good play there by the Grillo 15. He comes the I-7, he takes a hit from the I-7. Well, he's still got sufficient hit points, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, and he's getting chased by the M46 pattern, so I don't think he's too much of a long for this game. Bit of a snapshot there, Didn't couldn't wait for it to fully aim in, but the shell flies true. And he's got four kills now. So that does actually show on his target, but uh, yeah, we don't know exactly what his result's going to be. So three tanks left on the enemy side, they've got a bit of an advantage here, they have three guns up and about 2,000 hit points, although that's really worth one tank full. Oh, there's Devilish Vixen in the Gorilla 15, so she's deciding to go after some uh, damage here, I think. Sorry, I didn't notice you there, Dev. And, okay, the Progetto is there. And so Devilish is going in. I think she's losing a bit of health here, but that's okay. Oh, here comes the Progetto. Critical hit. Ah, critical hit. Okay, Devilish gets a shot into the Progetto. And the Progetto has fallen into the lake. Oh, no. It's crashed, so unfortunately no one gets those final hit points there. And now it's just an E3 and a Striv who are still there on the 1-2 line, and they're being challenged by three tanks up there, including a TVP and a T-95, and they're getting reduced in health dramatically, as you can see, there goes the E3, and probably the Striv, yep, straight away, so that is the end of the game, we're going to have to look at the results to see exactly what he got from those E4s. Alright, so 5.5k of damage in the end, and 4 kills, another 11.94 of assisted damage there, and that's uh, over 6.7k of combined damage, so great result there, and that turned in the Ace Tank and Mastery Batch. But uh, let's see what those uh, E4s were worth. So, this one, you destroy this vehicle, 1531. <laughs> so that was one of them, and the second one... 1642. So both of those E4s sent back to the garage without a, so much of a how's your father and all at the hands of Hyphen there. Very entertaining but not for those players. So very interesting. All right, so the team score. So it's finished on top both with damage and EXP. The second best player at the TPP who was actually playing on the 1-2 line and uh, yeah, good contributions from the rest of the team, quite solid damage there across the line. On the enemy side, that I-7 actually did pretty well, over 4k of damage there. Standout player on that side, E3 doing 3.8, the Progetto doing 3k, so pretty good there. Uh, and then here are the E4s, unfortunately didn't get much to contribute in the game. Alright, let's see, economically, he's ended up firing six shots. Overall, each shot hits, so great shooting there, Hyphen. Four penetrations, uh, one splash damage, because they're HE shell, so 
that explains that. Um, did have some mission payouts running, and that's helped him actually make a profit. So yeah, you can see the expense of those shells. Six shells, 48k. So that's your 8k per shell. That's uh, why you're not encouraged to do blind shots <laughs> at that price. But nonetheless, great game there from half and very entertaining. And uh, look forward to more. Apologies for the delays. Actually, match was played uh, near the start of this month, but um, just a problem with the versions changing and having to download another version of the game to get the replays working again, unfortunately. But uh, we are back again. And all this time, Hyphen's been travelling overseas, so he hasn't missed it. Anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You know the drill. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.